a really really lovely harvest assembly today um so yeah it's harvest time as you know and um it's a great time of year uh, the autumn is on the way the leaves are now falling off the trees and um the farmers have been busy and they've been harvesting all of the crops that have been growing this year and that's what harvest is about it's about all the lovely food and things um, that we can enjoy all the lovely foods that we can enjoy including apples and blackberries and strawberries who went strawberry picking in the summer that's a lovely thing that you can do isn't it you can actually go out into the fields um, picking strawberries and um, bringing them home enjoying them either on their own which is a bit more healthy or you can enjoy them with ice cream which is not as healthy but tastes really really good and nice nice as a treat really but also I know there's a lot of you out there that probably go pumpkin picking whether you can do this now with the Covid thing at the moment but I know that a lot of you do go pumpkin picking this time of year as well where you can just go into the field and pick a fresh pumpkin and you can make pumpkin soup. Mrs Salloway's made um, sweet potato and pumpkin soup before and that is something amazing that you can really really enjoy and it's really really healthy so it's even better. But yeah it's just a time of year that we need to be thankful. We need to be thankful for God for providing all of the wonderful foods that we've got. And um, just a little thing as well, Mrs Salloway was enjoying um, harvest time because she picked all of these apples in this bag and I was actually double this amount. She went to a public orchard where you could pick as many apples as you wanted. Um, so I probably could have picked enough for 20 crumbles if I wanted to. But yeah, Mrs Salloway, um, she boiled some apples, she, she simmered some apples and um, she made an absolutely wonderful crumble, apple crumble or you can make apple pie, whichever is your favourite, pie is pastry, so again we're thinking of harvest, what do we use in pastry and bread and things like that, we use something called wheat, don't we, and from the wheat we get flour and that can make all sorts of different things so obviously harvest is a wonderful time and if you've never tried apple crumble I really recommend it very very nice not very healthy really although you have got the apple so I suppose kind of makes up for it not being as healthy as some other things but um, yeah it's just a, an amazing time and I just want to talk about wheat for a little bit who has seen wheat growing in the fields over the summer? I'm sure most of you would have seen a wheat field. I know there is some down in Moor Green, um, not far from the school, because I've actually been in those wheat fields, um, been past those wheat fields myself. But if you see wheat growing, um, it's got a little, it's got quite a big stalk. But on the end of the stalk, at the top, the head of the wheat in there is where you get the seeds and obviously that's the most important part what we were talking about earlier with the seeds we can make can't we so many different things with the with the flour because as, as we crush the seeds we get the flour and we can make all sorts of wonderful things breads and cakes and biscuits and puddings and um, bagels all the lovely lovely things that we enjoy and um, how do they harvest the wheat because that's um, that'd be quite a big task wouldn't it if you got to do that without any machines and you were doing that by hand that would be a huge job who knows what the machine is called that actually harvests the wheat just have a little think about that I know it used to be one of my son's favourite machines just give you a little time to think about it so yes it's something called a combine harvester and the combine harvester has huge blades on the front and it cuts the wheat 
and it also separates the seeds, which are a really important part, from all the rubbishy parts, the stalks and the other bits that are no use. They get, they get put somewhere else, the machine separates them, and the seeds get put into a big, big container. And the seeds are harvested so that they can be used. And um, this is what harvest is all about, really. But obviously, years and years ago, 200 years ago, and even going back to Bible times, they didn't have machines, did they? So they would have had to harvest wheat by hand. And you think about the work. How did they do it? So they used to have to have people in the fields cutting down the wheat. And then, after that, they used to have to put the wheat on the, on the floor, and it was called a threshing floor. And they used to have to use animals to trample over the wheat. So they get used to get the, the animals to walk over the wheat, and it would separate the seeds from the stalks and the other bits. But obviously people then, manually, used to have to put them in a winnowing. It used to be called a winnowing tray. And they used to put it in the tray and shake it and it would get rid of all of the chaff and the stalks and you'd be left with all the good seeds. And that's the bit, as I say, that's the useful bit. You know, and I was thinking about this about harvest and it's a bit like our lives, isn't it? That, you know, we want to be useful, don't we? We want to be useful and we want to be kind, we want to use our love and our kindness and our helpfulness, especially at this time in at harvest, when people maybe not might not have so much food. Maybe we can donate a bit of food to the food banks to help other people at this time. Especially with the COVID thing as well, it's been quite tough, hasn't it, at times? So I think it's really important at this harvest time that we're, we are like the, the wheat seeds, that we can be useful and we can be helpful to others. And then the chaff bits of the wheat, the, the bits that are no good, you know, that we can try and get rid of those things. So when we get angry or we want to be selfish or we're unkind, you know, we don't want those things in our lives, do we? It's important that we get rid of those things and that we put all the good things into our lives, like the seeds, like love and kindness, helpfulness, all of our starfish. It's really, really important that we're, we are kind, especially, as I say, at the moment with the COVID, that we can be really kind to each other and help each other out, you know, at the moment. And it says, you know, in the Bible, in Galatians 6, 9, it says, Let us not become weary in doing, God, doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest. So what do you think that means then? Let's have a think about that. Weary. So let's not become tired. Let's not give up helping other people that's really what it means let's not give up because we will um reap good things if we continue doing what you know the right thing and that's really what god wants just like the seed you know um they don't just they're not just there for for itself it actually multiplies um that seed can be used to make bread and that can be used then to feed other people and I think that's the thing with the good things that we've got in our lives we can multiply that and that helps when I say multiply I mean that means we can make it more than it is if we help in other people it means that spreads out doesn't it our helpfulness can spread out to other people and it's not just about ourselves anymore that you're helping other people. And that's really what harvest is about. It's about our kindness and our love. And I hope you found it interesting learning about the wheat. Maybe you can go away and um, research this a little bit more. 
uh, about how they used to harvest wheat and um, also just for the teachers there is a song on YouTube called The Harvest Samba if you look that up obviously I know we can't sing at the moment but um, it might be a song that you could listen to uh, and just enjoy listening to okay so let's just be thankful and thank you for listening and see you all soon take care everyone bye